Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some, some big bags of potato That's chips. Good. These are Snyder's of Berlin. This is a brand that we don't get around uh, in our area a lot, but we found them at Jungle Gems International Market. They were $2.29 a bag, which is really cheap because each of these bags says $4.29. Yeah. So we must and have got them. bags too. Uh, maybe we got them on sale or something. I don't know, but they're, we bought them for $2 cheaper than what the bag says. I think it's pretty good. So we have three regular flavors and then two are special batch. So this is a cheddar and sour cream, sweet and sassy, sour cream and onion. And then I have the two limited run special batch, number 33, smoked Gouda, and then number 47, garlic parmesan. Why don't you keep yours on your side because these are big bags. Big bags. Big bags. They're not, now nice bags, and they're pretty good size. Okay, yeah. Gluten free, it says, Fresh taste and small town pride are crafted in every bag of Snyder of Berlin snacks. We have been cooking our potato chips in Pennsylvania for over 70 years and remain proud to share these tasty snacks with you. Our crispy chips are made with select potatoes for your snacking satisfaction, so grab a bag today and enjoy. They are distributed out of Algona, Washington. So, this is what I want somebody to explain to me. They're made in Pennsylvania. They're distributed out of Washington on opposite sides of the United States. How does that work? How does that work? I don't know. Um, Seems a little odd. It, yes. <laughs> that's that's, weird. I, I, there must be a reason, though. There, why, is, why aren't you distributing them out of Pennsylvania? I mean, no. I just... And it's Berlin, PA. Berlin, PA. Yeah. yeah, Pennsylvania. I was wondering where the Berlin came from. Yeah, Berlin, Pennsylvania. But I don't understand. Why are they distributed out of Algona, Washington? Right, that's I mean, where their warehouse is. I don't know. I don't get that. Anyway, one ounce, uh, 28 grams, about 16 chips and 150 calories um, of the cheddar and sour cream. Ooh, you open that bag and the cheddar smell hits you in the face. Which is a good thing. Oh, it smells good. And there's some big chips in there. Yeah, look how big those up. chips and are. And they're wavy. Yeah, they're... Ooh, I found one with a lot of seasoning on it. And it's soft. They're very soft. Mm-hmm. They're not as strong a cheese flavor as like the... Um, Oh, like I the, love the like the cheddar and sour cream um, lays. They're they're not that strong, but they are a very nice cheese flavor. Yes, I love the the cheddar and sour cream flavor. It's very good. I think, this, yeah, you mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you get uh, just the right amount in those. They I have um, okay. yeah, they're big, they're crispy, but mm -hmm. they're soft. They're not hard yep. chips, and they they have you can look at them and see. Each one is coated with powder. It's delicious. Yeah, it just makes you want to keep eating more. And the aftertaste is, is cheese. Cheese, <laughs> yeah, you're getting cheese. And there's a little a, bit of a There's cream a creamy cheese. flavor to it. Yeah, yeah I, I love those. This is sweet and sassy. These look like regular chips. Which I don't know, sweet and sassy. Uh, I don't know, what it says uh, dehydrated cheddar cheese, onion powder, garlic powder. So we'll just have to see. Uh, 17, about 17 chips is 150 calories. Yeah. Smells good. These are not wavy. Yeah. Is that enough? I'm trying to leave you some room on your plate so you can. I'm not seeing uh, fold overs. First of all, the texture is so weird for me because they're very, it's crunchy, but they're soft. It's, it's strange. We should have tried these first because these have almost, I don't I, know I'm what, not getting it. Yeah, there's a little bit of a seasoning there, but I'm not getting much of the a cheese or anything like that. They're, first of all, between the, um, the ridges 
and the, the wavy, whatever they want to call them. I don't know that they even sell. And these, I like the wavy ones better. Yeah. Because they have more, um, I don't know, I like the texture of them better. And they They're seem to have more flavor. Um, I'm just not getting much from this. There's a little bit of a, a spice in there that I, that I get, like a little tingle in the back of my throat, but that, that's it. I don't know what it is. Those were okay. They're, maybe if they were by themselves completely, like you went out there, you hadn't eaten anything else beforehand, and you ate those, you would get a big difference in flavor. But I, I, I didn't get much I keep wanting to eat either. them because I'm not getting anything. Yeah, I'm I didn't not, get much either. They're not bad. They just don't, they just. That's not much. Yeah, and there is a little bit of heat to them. Yeah, in the back of tingle. your throat, you do get some heat. But as far as like a flavor, like what flavor's coming across, maybe a little hint of onion, but not that much. I think that's adding the sweet. That's very light. Uh, this is a sour cream and onion, and we're back to wavy, which I'm glad. 150 calories. And I love a good sour cream onion too. We'll see how strong these are. A little bit of onion flavor. I tell you what, those cheddar and sour cream were just so strong on that flavor. Yeah, I hate to say it, LA's is much, much stronger mm -hmm. flavor than these. Although, I really like the texture of these. Yeah, they're, I like the so they're softer crunch. I like the texture. I love the wavy. I, I love it. I think they did a wonderful job mm -hmm. with that. They have a good um, aftertaste. You know. But these are not as strong as Lay's sour cream and onion. Mm -hmm. I would rather have their version. The Lay's? The Lay's. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather have Lay's than these. Yeah, I think they come across as a little more oniony and uh, more uh, salty. Mm -hmm. the yeah, Lay's are definitely saltier. Oh, these are salty, but Lay's are saltier. Salty mm -hmm. Okay. Limited run, special batch, smoked Gouda potato chips, number 33, 160 calories for uh, for 17. And I'm wondering if these are going to be regular or lazy. I'm guessing regular. They're regular. Yeah. Kind of disappointed. Well, I know. <laughs> They're regular. They're regular. I know, but I really like. I did like the flavor. I know. It's like, oh, <laughs> I know. This has some flavor. These potato chips, I'm carefully selecting them because I don't want to shove that whole thing in my mouth on a video. But they have huge chips in here, and all of them are that way. Yeah, that one actually has a smoky cheese flavor. Mm -hmm. That one, the the level of seasoning you wanted from the other two. Mm -hmm. those yeah, are, those are good. It is smoky. It's a little bit of funkiness. Yeah, the gouda is a little funky. I don't know if I'd want to eat those all the time, but they're they're good. But I think it would be good for every now and then. And I tell you what, this would go well with. And I don't know why I think it would go well with it, but I do. I think it would go well with that. Um, What's that black, uh, oh, black forest ham? Black forest ham sandwich. Cause it's pretty strong too. It's strong too. So if you had a black forest ham sandwich and this, I think that would be a good pairing. You know that. Um, I I really like these. I agree with you. They wouldn't be all the time. No, that good. Just the good cheese mm -hmm. the flavor itself is a little, like I said, funky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but. It's a good chip, yeah, and it has a lot of flavor. It does have much more flavor than the sour cream and the sweet and sassy. Garlic Parmesan, I, this is the one out of all of them that I was looking forward mm -hmm. to the most. Uh, so my expectations are high. 150 calories for 17, number 47. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, that have, one did. They have tons. Yes, that one at the very bottom has like the mother load of, uh -huh. of green. Now I'm going to leave that one for the picture. Wow. 
No kisses, huh? Ooh. That's some garlic. That is like very, very, very strong uh, garlic butter <laughs> or garlic bread. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you won't be wanting to kiss anybody after this. Oh my goodness. Eat some of these for lunch and then go talk to your boss. <sighs> <laughs> this? Very strong. Let's just describe it to you. It's like you took a breadstick and you took the whole breadstick and you dunked it into a vat of butter. And then it came out of the butter and the butter's dripping off of it. And then you put a, a ton of salt and a ton of garlic on it and then you just shoved it in your mouth and it's wonderful. I get the Parmesan too though. <laughs> oh yeah, it's the, yeah, you put some Parmesan on it too. Yeah, you forgot that part. Yeah, you have to sprinkle the Parmesan. That is so good. It's good, but it's gonna be funky. It's gonna make, you're gonna eat so many that sounds awful. You're gonna eat so many that's gonna make you sick at your stomach. That's how many you're gonna eat because when I've eaten, I've eaten that much garlic bread before and it made me sick later. <laughs> it made me feel sick in my stomach. That's what well, I would do There's with a these. particular brand that will make you sick at your stomach. If you eat too much, yeah. the New York brand, because there's, it's like this. It is totally like this, except it's in that New York brand Texas toast. And when you eat three pieces, that's what you get. You know, three inch pieces of garlic bread. But I've done it. The, you're gonna wanna eat, you're just gonna wanna keep eating these, them because it's so good. These remind me of Fazoli's uh, breadsticks. Oh yeah, yes, yes. Very strong Excellent. Product. Yeah, um, they're very, very good. I'm surprised they don't make these all the time. I bet the factory though will knock you out. <laughs> Can you imagine working in there with that? Well, that's um, definitely the strongest flavor. That and the smoke gouda, the, the special batches are the strongest flavors. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're really good. I, the I'm really disappointed. The sassy, sweet and sassy. I probably would have really, really liked if it, if it tasted stronger. Mm -hmm. um, and the sour cream and onions were good. They just weren't very strong. And the cheddar sour cream were good, but they weren't really strong either. Truth be told. Oh, I thought they were. They they were good. I like those quite a bit. My they weren't as good as the as the lays. So would you? You could only pick two. Um, probably this, the cheddar sour cream. And the garlic parmesan, even though the garlic parmesan is not something I'd want to eat all the time either because it's so strong. I could eat them all the time. Yeah. yeah. Um, if I'm going to, yeah, I could eat them all the time. I thought the cheddar and sour cream were wonderful. I thought they had a really nice, strong flavor. Every piece was coated really, really well. Um, I, so either one of these would be the ones that I would buy. Yeah. Either one of them. I thought they were good. But we don't get them in our area. Uh, so if you get them in your area, you can let people know what store do you find them at? You know, do you find them at Market Basket? Do you find them at Publix? You know, where do you see these? So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.